working on this shortwave radio. This was at first the slug tuned radio, uh, of which I made many uh, videos for YouTube anyway. And I wanted to change it to make it a kind of, say, universal shortwave <coughs> radio for frequencies between 2 megacycles and 8 megacycles. So I have left here uh, the slug tuned antenna coil here. Uh, that's completely uh, that worked completely good. The BFO did not work properly with that uh, say uh, slug tuned radio concept. It was only an experiment, of course, but this stage worked properly. And here it is the BF, uh, sorry, it's a field effect transistor, the BF245A, B or C. Uh, the tank circuit receiving all the radio stations between say 2 MHz and 8 MHz is here. Uh, you can see how the ferrite rod moves inside and outside into that um, tank circuit and that gives a quite a good say uh, peak on certain frequency bands and I have always see, uh, also seen that this is this principle is used in say professional uh, radios. So that's in fact a good principle to say uh, move the ferrite rod here uh, into the first uh, antenna uh, circuit, the first tank circuit to which the antenna is uh, so connected. Anyway, uh, the whole issue now is not about the say this radio concept, but about uh, say a ground loop or not a ground loop. Uh, when you are a radio amateur or uh, even uh, in say uh, audio amplifiers you can meet exactly the same problem. So inside here there is somewhere a ground loop and you can hear that here from the loudspeaker. I've made all these circuits say in a more or less say classic way uh, in which I make all my circuits. So shielding on the back side, uh, a good quality power supply and uh, I have say changed the power supply transformer from this bad one Uh, this is a bad transformer, but it gave uh, say the same hum that of course could be logical when there is a ground loop into a high quality transformer that's here. Uh, so I think the transformer is not the problem, but somewhere in this circuit there is a ground loop that generates um, a hum, and you can hear that here. I've also changed <coughs> the sorry <coughs> the uh, audio amplifier. It was first made with a chip chip amplifier, a TDA chip, and my idea was that that TDA chip didn't work properly. Uh, and indeed it did not work properly <coughs> because when the <coughs> chip started to take current there was a kind of zoom sound, uh, hum sound. So I made a classical uh, say a 4 transistor, 5 transistor 
uh, amplifier, connected it to my loudspeaker that's here and also to the loudspeaker here. Oh, but still there is a lot of uh, say ground loop hum. Uh, well, perhaps uh, I have found the candidate that generates so much hum. Uh, I often use, say, a standard um, Darlington circuit made with a power transistor, in this case a 2N3055, and also a driver transistor, often a BD139, with a Zener diode at its base. It's a very, very, very common circuit. And perhaps this will be the, the cause of this crowd loop. I am not sure. So, uh, everything here was, say, taken apart. The loudspeaker unit, well, that sticks. Uh, the audio amplifier that I changed from a chip amplifier into a classical BD139 and BD140 amplifier. But still there is uh, this ground loop and uh, of course uh, when we talk about power supplies there are a few common things. Uh, the smoothing capacitor must be, say, approximately 4700 microfarad. That's a, a common value. And I've used here 2200 microfarad, but on the other hand, I've mounted here in the base to the base lead of that regulator a quite heavy value, fierce value capacitor of say um, 470 microfarad. That means that in general uh, the hum at the output of that circuit uh, must not be there, but there is still hum. So perhaps my transistor circuit doesn't work anyway. Want to demonstrate something here? The effect of the of switching in at the output of the regulator a two two zero zero microfarad capacitor or not? You can hear that hum when I switch it in. It's very, very substantially limited. But uh, I think that is not the, say, the issue here. I think there is a kind of uh, a ground loop somewhere inside this radio receiver and I'm still going to search for that uh, ground loop. And of course, I'm going to cure it, I'm absolutely sure, uh, probably in combination with an other power supply. It needs a lot of study, in fact, to remove this kind of uh, persisting hum. So, um, what to show the effect of the base capacitor in, say, standard... Uh, uh, power supply circuits with a series regulator. There's often a Darlington and the, the, the driver transistor of that first Darlington uh, is connected via a capacitor to ground. And we have a kind of amplification and that amplification is set by the Darlington amplification factor. And it in a certain way uh, also say amplifies the effect of the capacitor on the base of the Darlington and that's called in general a Miller circuit. 
And of course, when you search info on the World Wide Web, you can surely find uh, more information about the Miller circuit. Say, a kind of uh, capacitance multiplier. And I've used that here. Uh, so, uh, by itself, it is an always working uh, circuit, not problematic anyway. But there is a problem here. So, let me show the effect of the base capacitor of the Darlington in the, say, Miller circuit. And now remove that base capacitor. And you can hear a slight, say, uh, slightly more hum. Perhaps it's possible to hear it on YouTube. And now I switch on and out that capacitor. So these are more or less common problems that you can uh, uh, say expect when you make uh, radio circuits or amplifiers, etc., etc. Uh, the ground loop problem is very common, and I've paid much attention to that ground loop problem in my books. They are on the Lulu website, so. Uh, Perhaps I have to take the whole circuit apart and build it up again to remove that ground loop. And also something that I've told earlier, uh, the, this is the primary transformer going to the mains. You can say uh, move it to the left side or the right side, up and down to get the minimum effect of hum, but uh, in this case this is a high quality transformer and I'm not going to do that because my uh, end amplifier is here, far away from that transformer. It, it is not possible that this transformer has any hum effect say electromagnetic coupling on 50 Hz or 60 Hz to my end amplifier and also it's impossible in this setup on the table now uh, it's impossible that this main transformer has any effect on say the loudspeaker stage so that means that there is another cause for this hum, and I surely have to search for it. Perhaps there's something wrong here in the high frequency stage of that radio. Perhaps the earth wiring is not properly made here, so perhaps I really have to take the whole circuit apart. And well, that was all. Could be a big problem. Never have, say, faced this problem in such a severe way. But anyway.